I'm excited to share with you my new course, A 3D Look Inside Moho. In this course, I will cover the techniques used to create 3D looking characters only using Moho. We will cover lighting, turning flat shapes into 3D looking objects and more. I will build the bird from start to finish and rig it for animation. I will teach you tips and tricks to help you bring your characters to life. The files are included. To get your copy of the course, visit my Gumroad store today. Hey everybody, how is it going? It's been a little while since I put a tutorial out. Been having some issues with this computer that I create the tutorials on. Still not fixed, but I'm gonna give it a go. See if we can get this going. I uh, posted a uh, little sh scene test with this Ninja Turtle on social media. Several people have asked me, how did I get the lighting and uh, make it look like the picture that you've seen for the course here. And so I'm going to show you that right now, combination of Moho and AE. Uh, create the character in Moho, animate the character in Moho, bring it in the After Effects, add the rim light, add the effects to it. Just a lot easier to do in After Effects in my opinion. So I'm going to show you a little bit how I made that happen today. Hopefully give you some tips and tricks that you can do on your own. So before we get... Uh, before we get into the lighting, I just thought I'd show you a real quick overview of the Ninja Turtle. Uh, how he was rigged. They got the hand rigs here going back and forth. The hands actually move individual, uh, up and down like that. The fingers have a couple of bones in them. We can move like that. I'm on frame one, so some of these uh, features won't work on frame one. If you ever find a feature that you rigged up in your bones uh smart bones and they're not working on zero move to frame one it's a good chance that frame zero is your problem to get that going we got the foots uh foot rig side to side right there set up on target bones so that when you move the character those feet stay grounded on the ground we got the sash all rigged up like that uh, we got his head can move side to side. We got his head can move up and down. We got his body can squash and stretch really big for cartoon animation. If you want to do that, squash and stretch is awesome. Body goes side to side. Just dance a little bit. He's got a little groove going right there. We got this uh, individual eye blinks. And also both of those bones are set to a smart bone where I can blink them both at the same time. Also rig some for shortening on the legs on this character here. So I got the upper one is one bone here and the lower leg. Um, these guys have a lot of action. So I thought I would try to create some for shortening on those bones. And basically I'm just scaling the bones back and forth. So I animated this guy jumping into the scene. I'll play it for you real quick like this. Back it up so you can see it. All right, so he's just off camera. He jumps in the scene like that. And then I just render him out as a total animation. Uh, if you're a Windows person, you can do that by export animation. Come up here, go down to AVI, all right? Come right here, AVI Movie Uncompressed. Renders it with a transparent background. You can bring it right in uh, to After Effects. It'll uh, recognize its transparency and you won't have to worry about image sequences and all that it also will bring the audio with it if you do lip sync all that kind of stuff just an option for you a lot of guys like to use image sequence i've used this it works well for me so just thought i'd pass that along to you all right cancel it so uh there we go that's how it's set up in here so now let's go into ae and see what we had going there so i'll close that out all right now we're in ae what we want to do is we want to open our uh, pro a new project with a new composition, making it the same size as the composition you had set up in Moho. All right, so then we import file, import file, all right, and then I already imported uh, these files. So I bring in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You can see he's already in there. He's the same size, and as I drop him down, there he goes. I'm actually going to start it a little bit later, just for effect. And we want this to hold, we want him to hold that last pose till the end. So we come up to time, time remapping. Uh, and 
this right here, if we click on that, we can toggle hold keyframe, right? And then we could just extend and it'll hold that last pose all the way to the end of the composition, just like that. So now we got him in there. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna add that rim light. And how we do that is we come up to a layer, new, solid, all right? Let's pick a color here. Let's go with a little bit darker yellow. Now we have that solid layer. Come up to effect. Let's go to channel, all right? And let's go to set matte. Now in this set matte channel, we wanna keep the alpha channel on and this yellow solid, which is the layer we just added, we wanna change that to the uh, Ninja Turtle. And now you can see that that Ninja Turtle is masked in solid yellow, just like that. And this is the beginnings of our rim light. So what we wanna do is come up to effect. We wanna add a blur and a Gaussian blur bring that guy up to let's say around 10 uh, would be a good blur point That's a nice blur there take this set mat and control d duplicate it and move that to the bottom of the stack then come up to the first set mat that we had in place and hit invert mat and there you go look at that nice rim light you can see the difference as we toggle it off and on now we can uh change our blur and then you can see that light wraps around the character the more blur we add the more light wraps around the character we can easily change our rim light to any color we want by coming up to layer solid settings right here and changing this color right here and as you watch as it changes now it's orange now it's green it's blue it's purple it feels like lucky charms it's red right So there you go, changing the light. So now let's add that beam that's actually casting that light. But before we do that, one thing I wanted to show you was if you do not want the light, as you can see, it outlines the whole character. We can simply take the pen tool here and we can create a mask just coming in the inside of our character, coming down, taking out all this extra light at the bottom and now as you see, it only shows light right there. So once we click on that layer, come to our mask, we can invert that mask. So now it shows everything but the area we have masked, just like that. So we come back down here, you can see the bottom of the feet is now uh, not glowing with any rim light. The insides of the legs are not the outside edge, but we could add multiple masks if we wanted to take it out of the hands as well. You can give it as much time as you want. Now you know the technique, have fun do whatever you need to do to make it look as cool as you can right so he jumps in he's got that light now if we wanted that if you notice that mask isn't moving it's going to stay still so now look that light is coming back right so we can animate that mask if we wanted to to kind of follow our character you would just have to go through and do that and move the whole mask layer part of it um, move points around to get it how you like it all right, uh, if you do not know how to do that, uh, you can get on YouTube. There's plenty of tutorials that show you some uh, AE mask, how to use mask, how to animate mask and all that kind of stuff. All right, so basically we got the rim light set in place. So now we wanna add that top light. So we're gonna come up to our layers. We're gonna add a new solid layer. We're gonna make that light a little bit lighter than the light that's being cast on him. Hit it OK, come back up to our pin tool. We're gonna to add another mask. We're gonna make it look like a manhole cover just opened up and he jumped through. All right, so click on that. Come down here to our mask and we are going to click on the mask and feather it. So we're gonna feather those edges. We're gonna bring down the whole layer's opacity Okay, and let's move it. It's a little far over. I want to kind of give him a little more room like that. So we can move that opacity down a little more. So I think I want this rim light to pop a little more. And the way we can get that to happen is come up to the uh, blending modes here and let's click on add. 
and you can see that that'll just add a little more pop to it we could also mess with the blending mode on top of that guy right we could pin light we could soft light we could screen whatever you like just play with the blending modes find something you like make it happen try a bunch of different stuff I mean experiment whatever you think looks cool whatever brings your image that you have in your head to life make that happen all right so just for kicks we're gonna leave it right there on pin light I'm gonna lower its opacity just a little bit just like that all right and so now one thing that I did and you may not be able to do this unless you have this plug-in um, was I took the Teenage Mutant uh, Turtle layer and I control D copied it duplicated it I brought it to the top of the stack there all right so now he's there came up to my effects trap code shine is the effect I put on it all right I'm gonna move those beams of light so they're pointing down and the goal here is to break up our light that's streaming down so I'm gonna come to my color portion here I'm gonna put it on one color I'm gonna pick that one color and I'm gonna turn it black and as you can see it's already starting to break up that light like it's being blocked by his body so I'm gonna take the uh, the length of it and I'm gonna shorten it up just a little bit there now we got some transfer mode options as well with this plugin so we can go actually to our um, sorry come up here to based on its luminance it changed this up we can go to alpha as you can see that changed that up but then we could actually lower its opacity if we want it to be darker or it's more of a shadow you could do something like that work in that so a bunch of different ways you can cast those shadows on him right bring up its opacity and there too we could change its mode overlay screen nothing add nothing multiply dark normal play around with it find something you like but here we go now that he's moving you can see those beams of light moving with him like that and so if we wanted to composite uh, a background layer I just found a uh, subway look image you can create your own online definitely don't want it that dominant in the shot so let's just knock it down or we just got a little bit going on you could add a floor you could add a drop shadow anything you want let's just play it see what we got so far another thing I did was I added a particle layer so it looks like the dust moving around uh, in front of him you can add particles you can look up a tutorial on how to create particles in After Effects or you can even find some stock footage out there I've seen a lot of actually free ones online with dust particles that you could just throw right on top of it change the blending mode to like an ad or a screen or something like that lower its opacity and it looks like nice dust particles flying through so I hope you learned something from this uh, Learn how to put a rim light on a character, change its color, add a, a background light or a top light, anything you want through masking in After Effects, bringing your character in from Moho and uh, making it look cool. So thanks for joining me. I appreciate all the uh, purchases of the course. Hope that you guys are learning how to get that 3D look inside Moho, adding shading and things like that to bring your characters a little more dimension. Uh, so thanks for your support of the channel. Thanks for all the subscribers i think we're up to uh 3, or something like that now that's pretty awesome thank you hopefully uh you guys are learning from the channel and i can be able to get this computer fixed and put more product out and also more tutorials so that you guys can keep growing and we could all grow together and bring the uh, moho community up all right so i appreciate it thanks for joining me have a good one take care see ya